Hey folks, welcome to lesson five of the April 2017 ICT mentorship, ICT day trading model. This teaching is specifically dealing with intraday market profiles. Okay, intraday market profiles. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is the sell profile, London normal protraction. And what you want to be looking for, for a classic sell day for intraday trading, uh, there's going to be lots of different deviations and, and subtle variances in, in these specific themes. Uh, they won't look exactly like I'm outlining here, obviously. Uh, that's what makes uh, trading somewhat difficult because you have to look for similarities across the board. So they're going to have a great deal of similarity among many sell days and the ideal scenarios will look very close to what I'm outlining here. But you start with the central bank dealers range and for a classic or high probability London normal protraction sell day, the central bank dealers range is going to be less than 40 pips. Now, as soon as you see a central bank dealers range that's greater than 40 pips, this is not going to be that profile. So you'll have to either go to the next one we'll teach in this lesson, or you're just going to consider whether or not you're going to be trading on the Asian session range between 8 o'clock and midnight, New York time. We call that the Asian range. This is going to also have a classic range of 20 to 30 pips. If it's larger than that, again, this profile will not be existing. Typically, what you're going to see is the market will rally up after 12 a.m. New York time to 2 a.m. New York time. Now, think about what I'm explaining here. You're already looking for a bearish move. You're already bearish on the higher time frame. The daily is indicating lower prices. So what we're looking for is the London high to form. Classically, the high probability scenario for this profile to unfold is you have to see what time it is in New York at midnight. And then you're going to be seeing price immediately start trading up from that point. If it does not start trading up into 2 o'clock in the morning, New York time, that is not this profile. So right away you have a filter. You have the central bank dealers range has to be less than 40 pips. Check. Asian range has to be 20 to 30 pips, check. Now, if those two conditions are there, but yet we do not see price rallying after 12 a.m. New York time into 2 a.m., if that does not occur, again, that is not the London normal protractionary sell day. The protractionary stage, or Judas swing, will be one to two standard deviations of the central bank dealer's range. Now, let's recap what I just explained to you. The ideal scenario, the one I like to trade, the one that makes me sit on the sideline and wait for these specific criteria. Everyone wants to know when I'm trading London. This is what I'm looking for. This is my money-making day. This is the thing that outlines the whole thing for my sell day for London. This is my go-to. I like this profile. If I do not have these ingredients, if you will, I'm not baking in London. I'm just not going to do it. So again, let's consider what this is outlined. If the central bank dealer's range is greater than 40 pips, there's been a whole lot more later afternoon New York session price action. So that means it's been extended further. If they have allowed the price to move further in a range greater than 40 pips after 2 p.m. New York time, that's going to mess up their model for allowing the float to build. You want to see a consolidation between 2 o'clock p.m. to 8 p.m. New York time. If that does not exist, right away you have a warning sign that you're probably not going to be wanting to trade London. Now that can change. What makes that change is if the Asian range goes down to a 20 to 30 pip range and stays very tightly consolidated. So central bank dealers range can get wider than 40 pips, but it's the Asian range does not move down into a small consolidation of 20 to 30 pips. 
you can't take the London session because you've already seen a lot of volatility, both in the central bank dealers range. So it means late New York going to bonds close. There's probably been something going on and they are not allowing float to build up. And you have to wait until 8 p.m. for the Asian session to begin. And then between 8 p.m. New York time, midnight New York time, we're going to be looking for consolidation in a range of 20 to 30 pips. If they can consolidate the Asian range, 20 to 30 pips, after a larger than 40 pips central bank dealers range, then we can go back to electing to look for this profile. Now, the market, again, has to rally immediately after midnight New York time. And you want to see that sustained movement higher, moving up into towards the 2 o'clock hour in New York time. So what that's doing is it's creating that initial move, that protractionary state. You are looking for the move to be going up, but the entry can occur as early as 1.30 a.m. New York time, 1 o'clock in the morning New York time. You want to see immediate movement up after 12 a.m. Now, it might have a small little move down after 12 a.m., but it'll be modest. But you're expecting that to turn up shortly after midnight. And you have to be looking for price movement at 1 a.m., to 130, it should have made a higher high than that what was seen in the Asian range or the central bank dealers range. That's the protractionary stage in the marketplace. But ideally, it will trade up from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. That movement up is IPTA expanding the range with a protractionary state or sucking in buyers or squeezing on those people that have stops just above the marketplace that are already short. When the, when the protractionary stage or due to swing occurs, we're looking for one to two standard deviations of the central bank dealers range if all these criteria are met, and then you'll end up nailing the high of the day between two o'clock and four o'clock in the morning, typically for your classic sell profile London normal protraction. As an example, this is what it would look like. As you can see here, we have a small consolidation, Asian range, and we have immediately after midnight time frame, the price goes straight up and then from there creates the high of the day and trades down, creating the low of the day around the London close time period and then coming off the low into consolidation. The projectionary stage is seen here immediately after that midnight candle. Okay, intraday market profiles continue to our sell profile with London delayed protraction. The market may or may not have a favorable central bank dealer's range. That means it could be an ideal stage set. It could be less than 40 pips or it could be greater than 40 pips. This profile can go either way when we're using the central bank dealer's range. The directional bias is going to be bearish. But the protractionary stage is going to be delayed in the day. In other words, we're not going to see the rally right after midnight in New York time. It may just erode and go lower right after midnight. IPTA will enter a protractionary stage at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York. So what you're going to be doing is you have a vertical line on your 15-minute time frame, and you're looking for price to stage a rally at or just shortly after 2 a.m. That rally is going to be a intraday inside the range that's already existing or, or inside the, the high that's already formed for the day. It's going to be creating a smaller little Judas swing. It's going to rally up from 2 o'clock and making your London entry come to fruition. You're going to be looking for an intraday premium PD array to short on inside that retracement. Now, again, that retracement is going to occur at or just after 2 a.m. When do you look for that? When the market does not create that 12 a.m. New York time rally. In other words, the price does not go into a protractionary stage higher after midnight. It just rolls over, goes soft, and just makes a progressively lower move going into 2 a.m. Not a problem. Draw a vertical line at 2 a.m. Wait for a retracement higher. That will be IPTA's protractionary stage. It will not want to make a higher high, and price will go to a 
premium PD array, bearish order block, cl close a fair value gap or liquidity void, and then you would be selling short on the day. And again, the primary premise is, is you already have to have a bearish outlook. The daily is respecting resistance ideas and it should be seeking sell side liquidity. If you have those criteria, this is the London delayed protractionary profile that you look to trade off of. But the key is having that two o'clock time frame. There must be a rally up at or just after 2 a.m. trading up into a premium PD array in the time frame you're trading on, which is the 15 minute chart. An example that would be seen here. Price rolls over, just doesn't make any higher high. Then we have a protraction A stage right after two o'clock on this time frame. This is uh, seen with 7 GMT, which would be two o'clock in New York time. Price creates a rally, trades back up into a bearish order block, and then creates the London session high, trading lower. And you can see the protraction A stage here after 2 a.m. Okay, intra market profiles continued. Now we're gonna look at the buy profiles. Now this is the one I like to trade when I'm looking to buy in the London session. And this is the London normal protraction stage. Central bank dealers range, again, is going to be less than 40 pips. The Asian range is 20 to 30 pips. Again, a narrow consolidation. The market's going to decline lower after 12 a.m. New York time into 2 a.m. New York. That's the fingerprint, if you will, that IPTA is doing what we're outlining here in terms of characteristics. So if we do not see an immediate decline from 12 a.m. New York down into 2 a.m. New York, this is not going to be a London normal protraction by day. The projectionary stage or due to swing will be one to two standard deviations of the central bank dealers range. So what we're looking at here, again, central bank dealers range is going to be less than 40 pips. So they are consolidating the late New York session going into bond close. Then an Asian range has a small, narrow 20 to 30 pip range as well. So they are allowing orders to build up above and below the marketplace. The market starts dropping immediately after 12 a.m. New York time at midnight, and it trades lower down into 2 a.m. Now again, the London low can form just ahead of 2 a.m., but we're looking for price to be trending towards or making lower lows going into that 2 a.m. time period. The market can start with an initial move up, very modest little move after 12 a.m., but it has to start trending lower after 12 a.m. or shortly thereafter, and it has to consistently move lower past, ideally, 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m., and right about then, you have a confirmation that the London normal protraction buy profile is unfolding. You're going to be looking for that Judas swing or protractionary stage in the marketplace to reach down one to two standard deviations in the central bank dealers range. And that'll be your projected low. An example of that is seen here. The market enters a small central bank dealers range and Asian range is also a, a respectable range in terms of pips. Then price drops lower right after the midnight candle finds the low of the day and expands up for a higher close as you can see here this is the protraction stage immediately after 12 a.m new york time okay intraday market profiles continuing with our buy profile of the london delayed protraction for this, we're going to be looking for the market may or may not have a favorable central bank dealers range. So it can happen either or. It can be a day where the central bank dealers range is less than 40 pips or greater than 40 pips. The filter moves over to the Asian range. That is also a defining factor. It helps build this a little bit more as a favorable uh, trading profile if the Asian range creates a small range. 
but it's not necessary because the profile could be seen with or without the Asian range being in a range or the central bank dealers range being in a small consolidation as well. Main premise is the directional bias is bullish, but the protraction is delayed. IPTA will enter a protraction stage at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York. And you're going to be looking for a discount PD array to buy at during a retracement that will occur at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York time. So what are we saying here? We have a market that has a questionable central bank dealers range. That doesn't mean that we just toss it out. We have to look at what's going on at midnight. So we have to get up or make ourselves available at midnight and see, okay, we're going to be looking for the characteristics that's being described here. If we have wider than 40 pips central bank dealers range, okay, then we probably are going to be seeing a London delayed protractionary stage. The directional bias has to be clearly bullish. And if we don't see the characteristics that we saw for the London protractionary day for buy profile, then we have to look for these types of things for the delay. So if they will enter a protractionary stage at or shortly after 2 a.m. So what we can do is if we see all those indications are there at midnight, we can either take a nap or we can stay up and wait to see if there's that delayed protractionary stage or Judas swing that begins at 2 a.m. and will retrace lower and it will seek a intraday discount PD array, and you'll be buying that during that retracement. So basically, it would be like a classic intraday optimal trade entry, long, or a bullish order block closing in a fair value gap below market price, or a liquidity void. That movement lower, that will create that London entry for a London delayed protractionary day. An example seen here, the market starts up. And it doesn't give us a real clear uh, picture right away. It starts moving higher. doesn't give us that big move lower or initial drop down. So we have a questionable um, central bank dealers range or Asian range scenario. We can be looking for our directional bias to unfold, which is a bullish day. IPTA will enter a protractionary stage at or shortly after 2 a.m. New York. That's the blue line here. Market drops down. And it dips into an intraday discount PD array. In this example here, you can see it trades down into a previous down close candle or bullish order block, creating the London setup to unfold for the rest of the bullish close day. And the rest of the template is seen here, making the high today in London close, trading off the London close high into consolidation for the daily close. So we have two dominant profiles that I like to trade and look for it. The characteristics are highly specific. They're not ambiguous. They have sp specific criteria that we look for. If the first one, which is the London protraction, whether it be buy or sell profiles, characteristics are not there, then I look for justification for the delay in the protractionary stage of the, of the London session. So the key is 2 a.m. New York. So we're looking at 12 a.m for a classic London protraction or Judas swing. If we don't see that movement in favor of our up close day with a down move after 12 a.m., that Judas swing lower, if we don't see that, then we're gonna be looking for this scenario here, 2 a.m. So here's the criteria. You have to be up. If you're gonna be a London trader, the ideal scenario is you're gonna be up at 12 a.m. New York time, all the way up to at least, in my opinion, 2.30 a.m. to 3 a.m. That's the that's that three-hour window. Once you see what's being outlined in both of these profiles, whether you're a buyer or seller, I'm only looking for four types of conditions. And I should already have just two conditions set for London. Either I'm going to be bullish or bearish. That's going to be just determined by looking at the daily chart and where are we trading off of recently. Are we moving higher or lower? If we're going to be expanding higher, then I'm going to be looking for bullish scenarios in London. And I'm going to be using the two criteria for the buy profile. Either it's going to be a London protraction or a London delayed protraction day. That's it. Nothing else is slipping through the cracks. Nothing else is going to surprise me. I'm looking for two criteria. 
I'm looking for a scenario to unfold at 12 a.m. going into 2 a.m. If that does not happen, then I know what I'm looking for at 2 a.m. I'm looking for that delay of a Judas swing. The only difference is I'm going to be either a buyer or seller based on my higher time frame premise. That's it. There's no magic to it than that. I understand that IPTA will do these scenarios. And it will also keep you out of trades. There's going to be times where it won't provide you an entry. The market will just probably keep on going up. And it'll probably be a 90 pip day. It might be a 150 pip day. And you aren't getting in with either one of these profiles. And guess what that means? That's a trade that you missed. You can send me emails and complain about it. <laughs> I'm just telling you, some days I miss it too. But by far and large, if you look for these two characteristics for a buy or sell profile intraday, when you already have a higher time frame notion that the price should be higher or lower based on that daily chart, your criteria for trading the London session is simple as this. There's nothing else that you're looking for. The framework we're going to give you from the higher time frame down, obviously, in later teaching. But for here, you're only looking for two things. A movement after 12 a.m. going into 2 o'clock in the morning. And if that doesn't happen, then you draw a vertical line at 2 a.m., then you expect it there. So between 2 o'clock and 3 a.m., that Judas swing should occur. Now think about what I just told you. I just loaded your 50 caliber Barrett ready to take down big game. You're able to find London open setups now with very specific criteria and filters. Go back and look at your old charts and you'll see that these are going to be the two dominant forces that outline all of the best London open sessions. Until next lesson, I wish you good luck and good trading.